Jakarta still submerged. 75% of this vast Asian metropolis lies underwater, while officials warned there could be more flooding on the way. I'm Steph Fassel, reporting from Indonesia. My story shows the human suffering caused by the floods. As they wait for help from the government, victims of Jakarta's worst flooding in recent memory begin to fall ill. I'm Veronica Pedrosa. And I'm Hamish McDonald. This is Al Jazeera live from Kuala Lumpur. Also on the program, major security push after a week of bloodshed. US and Iraqi forces are to launch a new crackdown on the violence. Three years for Hyundai's chief, the head of the world's sixth largest car makers, guilty of embezzlement. And a long fight for freedom. Indian Ocean Islanders forced from their homes may never be allowed to return. So it's been a wet, soggy and smelly start to the week for the millions of people in Jakarta. Some three quarters of the city's streets are still awash in brown, murky water after the city's worst floods in decades left at least 29 dead and forced 340,000 from their homes. Now, there are growing concerns that as the floods recede and the sun returns, people will be at risk of waterborne disease. Al Jazeera's Step Varsan spent the day travelling around the Indonesian capital to file this report.